Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to change a color in Adobe Premiere Pro. So in the last tutorial, I actually just singled out the color of this red life jacket and we made everything else black and white and this only a, um, the only color in the scene. However, if you can do that with a color, you can also change the color in Premiere Pro. Like the last tutorial, you're going to need to have a color that pops, something that isn't very similar to the rest of the scene and that sort of stands out. So, you know, a fire against a green backdrop would be great. This red against this blue is perfect. So you, you need something that stands out. Otherwise, you'd have to do some very, very minute sort of corrections. So if you've got a color that stands out, then you can do this and let's get started on it. It's really, really simple. What I did this time and uh, what I did last time as well is I first just dragged in the footage here and what we need to do is we need to sort of make this color pop just a little bit more. So if we reset this back, this is kind of how it came in. And what I wanted to do was I just brought up the exposure some, really brought that contrast up to sort of bring the contrast out in the color. And then I added just a touch of saturation as well so that we can really give the color here um, again to try to pop it, make it stand out some that, so that we can grab it a little bit easier. What we need to do next is, let's go back into editing right here. What we need to do next is we need to go into our effects down here. And what we're gonna search for is something called change to color. Now you can also just do a uh, change color right there and that's just gonna allow you to like sort of spin a hue wheel on it. But if you want to change it to a specific color, we can use change to color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna drag it on over right here. And then now, once I click on here and we go up into the effect controls, we can come down and you'll see that we have change to color in our effect controls. So we want to grab our main color, which is right here. Again, if you hold down the control key down here on the bottom left, the little, uh, you know, control key next to the shift button, it's gonna make this into a big sort of eyedropper here. And what that does is it selects an average. So if we move around really quickly, it's gonna move and it's gonna like sort of micromanage the colors up there. We don't want that, we want the average, the, the you know, the center of this color. So let's just choose somewhere on here while holding the, the control key. And so now we have this selected. And you can see that it already just changed color right there. So what we can do next is we can go to the two section right there. And now just choose really any color in the book. Let's make it a nice like purple. So we'll go into purple here and yeah, it looks good. Click OK and just like that, it's changed to purple. Now at this effect right here, it's actually looking pretty good. If you choose a color that is similar to the beginning color, it'll work a lot better. So the beginning color was red. If we chose blue, the errors on it are gonna show a lot more because it's on the opposite side of the color wheel. So any of that little leftover red is gonna really show up. And if you wanna increase the hue, you can do that, which is going to increase the amount that it's selecting. You can do that and then we can edit it just a little bit. Um, so for example, if we went into here and maybe we like brought it up by 10, you'll see that we can kind of sort of start getting into some of that reds on this edge and down here. This one kind of stays, but we also start selecting the entirety of the scene as well. So we don't wanna do that. So let's actually just choose a setting here. I'm gonna go back to the purple and then we're gonna clean this up a little bit so that it doesn't select anything else. Right now, it's actually doing pretty well by only selecting this right here. And that's what having a really big popping color allows you to do. However, let's say that we wanted to you know, boost up this hue right here to, let's say we liked it you know, at 30%, it's making this look good. However, now it's coloring the entire rest of the scene. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually create a mask um, to make the, composition basically only inside of this. So what we need to do is we need to go to the change to color right here and we need to click this box right here or really anything that's going to allow us to create the mask. So maybe if a circle fits better or maybe you have to draw your own. And now we just create this and you'll notice that you can see that it's changing the color like so. And let's just make it fit only inside the surfboard right here. Let's bring these down like so. And now you'll see that it, it removed that correction that it was doing on the rest of the image and now we just have the surfboard selected and we have the beautiful colors changing like so and so that is how you change a color in adobe premiere pro really really simple to do all you have to do is use that change to color and you just need to understand that it has to be a color that pops it is not a you know magic tool i can't just change like for example the trees or the skin tones right here because they're too close to the rest of the image. This, however, is perfect and there are a lot of situations, especially with flowers and things like that, where you can change it really, really easily. 
Thank you everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or onto our website at adobemasters.net in our forum section. We'd ha be happy to help you out over there. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, see ya.